What's up, Philadelphia? Robert Barr here with filibuster.com. Philadelphia Business News in the Raw. And on the topic of Philadelphia Business News, I read yesterday that the Philadelphia Inquirer is obviously in financial trouble along with the rest of, I guess, print media. Um, you know, thank God for Slim uh, dumping $250 million into the New York Times or they'd be in the same boat. But I saw yesterday that I saw yesterday that the Philadelphia Inquirer uh, is seeking a $10 million uh, loan from the state of Pennsylvania. Two thoughts. One, it's not enough. $10 million, I don't know what it costs Tyranny to run the Inquirer, but I can't imagine $10 million get you long. But anyway, maybe they, maybe maybe it does considering you look at the, you take a look at the, the business section and You've got a front page, and you've got Mike Armstrong taking up huge amounts of real estate on the front page. Good for him. You have two inside pages. Big giant ad on one side. You know, just some, some brief, the briefcase section with some tidbits on the other. Uh, some more ads. Then you turn the page, and you get stock prices, and some dividends, and some earnings announcements. And then... On that last page, you get a big giant ad for the Philadelphia Car Show this weekend, um, and then that's it. Classified section. So, for the fifth largest market in the United States, you get three pages worth of business news. But maybe I maybe maybe I picked up the one slow business news day. This was Wednesday's paper last week. Let's take a look. Here's Thursday. Oh, look at that. Big giant ad for Citizens Bank on the bottom. Another huge swath of space taken up for Mike Armstrong's uh, column. Uh, Mike is a great writer, so I don't mind that. But once again, big giant picture on the front page to take up some more column inches. Turn the page. Look at that. Three pages. Once again, another briefcase pitch section. Um, big giant picture here of the new of the new altar hall at Temple University. Uh, that takes up a lot of column inches. But that was a great article by Joe DeStefano. Uh, once again, some earnings and some stock prices. And then a big giant ad on the fourth page for a more perfect union. Um, an ad by philly.com forward slash store. So there you have it. Not much business news in the paper. But let's see what our $10 million gets us. Now we're all going to have a little piece of the paper. So I'm going to have to have a say in what goes in the business section. Hope you.